Hey, good morning. This is Chris Meyer, your domestic violence and high conflict divorce lawyer for the greater Houston area. I'm outside this beautiful morning uh, next to the Brooks Lake by the Floor Daniel Corporation. It's a very beautiful area, beautiful restaurants. Okay, so I want to talk about intimidation. It's intimidation is a type of domestic abuse. It's part of the power and control will. If you go to my website, uh, go go to my blog. Uh, I actually have a PDF of the uh, Duluth model. It's also more commonly known as the power and control will. It, it helps um, victims of domestic abuse and domestic violence better understand their trauma and why the abuser does the things that they do. Uh, today's video, I'm talking specifically about one specific area of domestic abuse is called intimidation. Uh, there are lots of ways you can intimidate someone, but for this, 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 uh, there's this very specific type of intimidation that really concerns me. It's displaying firearms during a divorce, during a custody matter, during um, some type of legal proceeding in, involving the, the family courts. Uh, so what, what really concerns me is when maybe one spouse is does own firearms, but the firearms are always locked up, have been locked up for years. They ignored the firearms, never really used them. And then suddenly out of nowhere, they start displaying and brandishing the firearms in the house. They're cleaning the weapons or starting to talk more about it. They're not, it's not a direct threat, but displaying firearms during a legal proceeding involving family matters, that is a form of intimidation. And what really concerns me is when the firearms have gone ignored during the majority of the relationship and then suddenly we're in the middle of a divorce or a custody battle and that's when one of the spouses thinks it would be a, a wise idea to, I guess, passively remind the other spouse that they do have firearms. Just a very passive reminder not to mess with me, passive reminder not to provoke me because I do own firearms and they are right here. And in fact, I'm displaying them for you to see. Now that is no crime, no crime has been committed. If you're, you know, if you're not making a you know threat to the other person or pointing the weapon at them, you're just happen to display it maybe in the house, like I said, you're, you're, you decide to suddenly start cleaning your weapons all of a sudden when, during a divorce. Uh, it is a type of intimidation and it's your, the aggressor is not, is making a very bad decision. It, it's because once the, once the uh, victim uh, tells their, well, their family law attorney that suddenly out of nowhere, we have these firearms popping into the picture you know, a good professional family law attorney is going to know what to do to handle this. And it is a type of intimidation and intimidation is a form of domestic abuse. There are multiple types of domestic abuse and domestic abuse does not necessarily need to involve a physical touching of the other person. There can be psychological forms of emotional and domestic abuse and intimidation happens to be one of them. And yes, suddenly displaying uh, firearms during the family law matter could certainly inflame the situation. I know some people, uh, some aggressors, they don't like lawyers. They don't want to, they don't like paying lawyers. They, they take offense. That their, that their victim spouse decided to retain an attorney. And one way for them to act out is 
intimidation tactics. I don't buy it and you should not buy it either. It is a form of domestic abuse and they should be called out on it. But then again, at the same time, remember, it is a delicate situation. So it's always good to talk to a professional on how to properly move forward. This is something that I've seen on uh, multiple occasions as a domestic violence lawyer, as a divorce lawyer, as someone who handles custody matters for the greater Houston area. I, I hope this video helps you and helps better explain what intimidation is. And I do encourage you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please uh, like, and also go to my website and uh, check out the my blog. I, I what spe I'm specifically referring to the power and control will. It, it's a it's a great article. It's a great model uh, that I uh, uploaded to my website. I want you to take a look at it, and uh, I, I hope this helps you in your journey. Thank you for taking the time uh, to watch my video at this beautiful morning at the Floor Daniel on uh, Brooks Lake. Thank you very much and uh, take care.